During World War II, thousands of inventions were created, but most of them were designed for survival, speed, or communication. Yet, hidden among the famous machines of the era, there was one small mechanical device that quietly transformed engineering forever. It wasn't a weapon. It wasn't a vehicle. It wasn't even designed to fight the war. And still, engineers across the world later called it the Silent Revolution. Today, we're uncovering the forgotten World War II device that still influences modern airplanes, cars, and industrial machines. During the early 1940s, engineers in factories were struggling with precision. Machines needed to move faster, smoother, and more accurately. But heavy steel gears created vibration, noise, and mechanical stress. Even simple tasks like adjusting engine components or synchronizing moving parts required perfect timing. But perfect timing was almost impossible until one engineer proposed a solution so simple that other engineers laughed. A solution built from lightweight metals, rubber-based materials, and a new understanding of motion. This small invention didn't look impressive, but the moment it was tested, everything changed. The invention was known as a flexible coupling a small connector placed between two rotating parts. Before this design, engines and machines required heavy, rigid connections. If one part wasn't perfectly aligned, the entire system shook, wore out, or failed. The flexible coupling solved all of that. It absorbed vibration. It allowed tiny misalignments and it transferred power smoothly without damaging other components. In many ways, it was the first shock absorber for rotating machinery. While soldiers on the front lines never saw it, engineers in factories began calling it the invisible hero. Once the design was proven, engineering teams across Britain, America, and even other nations started improving the concept. They added multiple layers of rubber, lightweight aluminum rings, new alloys that reduced friction, reinforced joints that made the device last years longer. By 1944, the flexible coupling had evolved into several specialized versions, each designed for a specific role. Aircraft engines, naval pumps, radar equipment, and factory conveyor systems. The improvements made machines smoother, quieter, and far more reliable. When WW2 ended, millions of soldiers returned home, but the flexible coupling stayed. In fact, engineers quickly discovered that this tiny wartime invention solved industrial problems everywhere. It became a key component in early commercial airplanes, automotive engines, textile machines, printing presses, agricultural equipment, even early computers. Today, more than 80 years later, the basic concept is still used in electric motors, wind turbines, robotics, and medical equipment. Whenever a machine rotates silently and smoothly, this tiny WW2 invention is often hiding inside. In engineering, the simplest solutions often create the biggest transformations. The flexible coupling didn't look powerful, but it solved a universal problem, how to connect imperfect machines in a perfect way. And that idea, solving complexity through simplicity, became the foundation of modern mechanical design. The original World War II versions inspired modern disc couplings, jaw couplings, magnetically isolated couplings, and advanced vibration dampening technologies. This tiny World War II device survived because it did something no weapon or machine ever could. It made everything else better. Most of us remember World War II for its battles, tanks, and aircraft. But sometimes the inventions that shaped our future 
were hiding far from the battlefield. The flexible coupling is one of them, a quiet revolution that still powers our world every single day. If you want more educational stories about forgotten WW2 engineering, let me know in the comments. And thank you for supporting this channel.